Java Bridge and find report.php, which in my case would be this file right here. Report.php will uh, open it. In my case, I'm opening it with Dreamweaver. You can have anything, basically uh, Notepad++ or whatever. And what interests us, what is interesting here is this line. The rest of the code, I'm not going to cover it in this tutorial, but here what we want to check out is which RPT design has been actually opened. And what a surprise, it's test.RPT design. So what we want to do is replace this RPT design with the one I, we've just created. So, uh, you know, to test whether it actually works. So now we don't need this anymore, so let's close it. And test.rpt design is in the same directory, just a little bit below, which is this one. I don't want to crush this file, so I'm just going to rename it technically. There we go, test old, which, or you can name it original, name it whatever you want, it's not really that important. Now we want to get our file and place it right there. Our file, you have to find the, the the directory in which it's been saved. In my case, it would be the report directory right here, and it would be this one. So let's just copy this file here and put it right here. <coughs> so there we go, we have test.rpt design. So now, if I click on execute, I think you'll all agree that it's my report that's going to be executed. So what's going to happen? Let's check it out. Oops, there's been a mistake. And this, my friend, is the one mistake that uh, I that haunted my nightmares for days. Basically, it tells you absolutely nothing of what went wrong, just that something went wrong. And believe me, something did go wrong, but you have no idea unless you know in advance what happened. And on this note, I really have to thank Mr. Jason Weather Weathersby, sorry about the, if I'm pronouncing it wrong, for walking me to the solution. Really, I was at the end of my rope. I had no idea what I was doing wrong, where the mistake was coming from. I just had no idea. As you can see, this is a conversation I had with him. And uh, he walked me to the solution. He told me which file I needed to replace, told me which folders to check out, and basically I wouldn't have been able to do it without him. So thank you, Mr. Weathersby. And uh, this tutorial is <coughs> made was made thanks to your assistance. Okay, so now that uh, credit has been properly given, what the hell happened? Okay, so. To answer this question, first we're going to have to check on a little something. So let's open their report with Eclipse. Sorry about this, it would be this one. So this was their original report, so let's open it with Eclipse right here, like that. Okay, there we go. And this is how their report was made. Nothing exactly, no, nothing groundbreaking here, just a few controls and say hi, hi and everything. So there's nothing really special about that report. So what the hell went wrong? What, what, why was this report working and not mine? The answer lies right here in the XML source. So if you click on that, you're going to end up with a screen like this. And this right here is the main cause of the problem. As you can see, the version number of the engine used was 3.2.6 and let's check out with my report which is still open right here so it's just you just click on the report right here xml source and what's the version number of my report 3.2.22 whoa this is quite a leap <laughs> but uh, i'll uh, i'll put a little moderation right here uh, the 6.2.1 release of Java Bridge can support version numbers up to 3.2.21. So this little report here 
has just not been updated. It's the same uh, report they used to say, yeah, to say um, you, you've successfully installed the uh, Java bridge and the bird viewer is working. So basically you've got one hell of a leap in version. So what do we do to fix that? Why exactly is it crashing? I don't know the exact reason, but I do know that basically Java Bridge isn't meant to support version 3.2.22 as of January 2011. So there are two solutions you can do. The two you can uh, you can use. The first one that you might see on some forum is to actually downgrade the version of your report manually like this. You just change and you put 3.2.21. In my opinion, it's like changing the extension of a file. For example, uh, you change the, 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 file, the extension of a Word document, change the DOC to t TXT, and then try to open it with Notepad and you get garbled content. So in my opinion, it's a bit uh, it's a bit like cheating if you are, if you see what I mean so that's not exactly what I want uh, that's not the, the approach I would recommend using so what we really want to do is to actually upgrade the BERT engine inside of Java Bridge for there is a BERT engine inside Java Bridge and they don't tell you that <laughs> so you have a BERT engine present with Java Bridge so what you want to do is to upgrade it so that it actually reflects the new versions of the report. You don't want to pull yourself back, you want to go forward. And this, my friend, is the main idea of this tutorial because no one anywhere will tell you what you need to do to upgrade the BERT engine inside of Java Bridge. And it's actually really simple to do. It's not easy to know but once you know it's really easy okay so let's do that first of all let's shut down Tomcat shall we okay so now that Tomcat's been shut down let's just pull that away for a second okay now let's go back to, I'm going to go back here. This is the, uh, I always try to start in this folder, which is the web apps folder of uh, Tomcat. So let's go inside of Java bridge. Then you've got here the web inf directory. And what, ne what actually needs to be done is to replace two folders. Simple enough, but when you don't know which two folders to replace, well, you see there's a lot here. There's probably subfolders somewhere around here and everywhere. So what we want to do is replace this folder and this folder. Okay, so now that we know, what do we replace them with? I mean, if you replace something, you actually have to put something else in, in its stead. So I don't want to crush my folders, so I'm just going to rename them like this plugins old what do we want to put <coughs> instead sorry about that it's actually really simple that would be the the the, the new folders are in the BERT runtime that you previously downloaded so let's go inside BERT runtime I've taken the liberty of decompressing it off screen BERT runtime here and what interests us is in the report engine directory right here and well what a surprise you have a plugins directory and a library directory so let's take this here and replace the directory right now there we go that's it for the plugins directory now we're gonna do the same thing with the lib directory and I have to uh, warn you do not delete the lib, the lib directory just rename it for now we'll be needing it a little in a few seconds so now what you want to do is of course take the lib directory right here and copy it right there so now that's about 97 percent done now what we want to do as you can see the content of the directory is relatively similar to the ones you have right here 
except that here you have 34 elements and here we have 24 elements so some of them have to be uh, taken back from this directory into this one which files are these okay there are six files you six files you're going to need the first one here is bert engine these are all jar files by the way so the first one is the bert engine second one is java bridge next is lucen then you have php script php servlet and script api not to mix with script apis it's really script dash api so that's a total of six files if you have an older version of Java Bridge, you may have a file that's uh, jaxrpc.jar. You might want to take that one too, but uh, as you can see, they sort of got rid of it with the newer versions. So let's take that. Let's go copy and paste. And there we go. So now the, the BERT engine has been successfully upgraded inside of Java Bridge not really that complicated but unless you know that you have to replace the library directory along with the plugins you might pull your hairs out a little like i did okay so let's see if it actually works so let's restart tomcat twice of course okay there we go so let's go back here and okay and i've just refreshed the page to make sure and let's try this again shall we and there we go it's working so now you have a proper setup of java bridge to work with your bert reports it wasn't all that hard as you can see but you have to know what you're doing and sadly i haven't found any clear tutorial on the uh, uh, that explains the procedure i've just shown you there's one last thing we want to do and it's to set up the database connectivity so how do we do that really really simple okay this this file here this folder sorry let's go back here okay as you remember i had uh, this little connector here downloaded previously in my in my case it's a mysql connector that your database might be different and it doesn't have to be 5.1.14 it's just as long as it works really so what we want to do is open this get there and get this file here this is the the the, the main file that we want and we want to put it in a specific folder okay so let's go back here shall we into the web central web apps tomcat there we go so this is the web apps directory <coughs> sorry again so we go to java bridge we go to the web inf platform and the plugins directory okay so as you can see there's a lot of stuff in here what we want to find, what we want here is this directory here, which is uh, is the dat data ODA JDBC blah 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 blah. So this is the folder we want. These these numbers here might be different. It doesn't really matter. What we want is really the JDBC. You open the folder. You go to the drivers directory. And what we want to do is simply copy this file into this folder. So copy and paste so this here will allow the reports to properly connect to your database provided that you have proper uh, proper authorization the, r the right username and stuff like that unless you have that your reports won't be able to to properly connect but now we've successfully updated the the BERT engine inside of Java bridge uh, I hope this tutorial helped you. I know I really, really pulled my hairs out trying to figure out what needed to be done. And I hope I was clear enough to help you properly set up your Java bridge environment. And uh, well, that's pretty much it. Thank you for listening and I hope to see you another time. Goodbye.